A long time ago, when the polar ice caps melted, ocean waters gradually flooded the entire surface of the planet. Cities and villages, factories and airports, forests, fields, and even many mountains ended up underwater. Human civilization, in the common understanding of the word, disappeared. But humans as a biological species survived. Those who managed to escape the flood on the roofs of skyscrapers, on mountain ranges, or on ships, eventually learned to survive in the new world. The most ingenious came up with the idea of extracting fragments of old civilization artifacts from the seabed. The most skilled learned to build ships from that garbage. The strongest and meanest found out how to take these things from other groups. A new civilization was gradually taking shape, living by simple and brutal laws. The laws of the sea. The laws of the age of water. rescued after all <laughs> sharky bandit sank our whole caravan you know and whoa who are you why do you so you must be a newbie with amnesia y'all always appear from nowhere amnesia isn't contagious right oh i got carried away let's get acquainted my name is kitty sark after the bottle when i was born a bottle with a real cork and a note got washed up against our pontoon the elders took the cork the note was sold to the scavengers, and I got my name from the label. You won't regret it, I promise. I'm a great shooter. That's what everyone says. Besides, I know that Sharkies have a treasure map. Let's get it. You don't have a machine gun on your boat? That's not right. The place is swarming with Sharky gangs. We need a machine gun ASAP. Just pick up the machine gun. It's there, in the wreckage. It's gonna be a bit too hard without one. <laughs> now we have a machine gun. Hurry, open the constructor, select the machine. I know that Sharkies have a treasure map. Let's get it. There they are! We must still have the map. Sink them, Captain! Captain, hold the boost for sharp turns! Just keep an eye on the battery's charge! We are 
are in luck. The map is intact. As soon as we are able to decrypt it, we'll go look for the treasure. All we have to do is get a decent boat and assemble a crew. The Mantis Bar is nearby. It's a frequent haunt for unemployed sailors. Maybe we'll manage to hire something. I'm Mantissa. I run the Mantis Bar. They call me female Mantis by my back, but don't be afraid yet. You here on business or to relax, handsome? Ah, so you're looking for male company. That's pretty quiet here today. There's one sailor who was interested in work. Talk to him. <laughs> to talk to a different person, press their portrait on the right. Greetings to the free captain. My name is Jack. I'm an experienced sailor. Uh, I'm looking to work as a bosun on a decent vessel. But I can be a sailor or a carpenter. And I'm quite a good shot, too. <laughs> a jack of all... Uh, but the three of us on your rubber boat? Although, I know where to get a decent boat, if you're not afraid to take risks. There's a ridge of rocks nearby. It's like a maze. So Egghead's decided to hide there. The eggheads are gone, but the boat has to be attacked. Fancy a drink, gorgeous. Fancy a drink, gorgeous. Captain? There's loot in the cargo hold. I can sort it. Resources for repairing and making things always come in hand. That's the maze. Now go very Who needs a rupture?
boat at a low cost there. Get a generator even? It's no fun without it. Shall we? Yeah. Now we have a pump. When the hall is breached, I'll pump the water out. We've got nothing to repair with you. The workshop over there is like a We grew up in the same frontier. No, so we're all good there. <laughs> Hello, Captain. And hello to you too, Kitty. Glad you're doing well. My name is Jimmy Beam. How can I help? I can see that. Not a problem. If you won't throw Kitty overboard for her blabbering, call it square. But if we're being serious, there is one problematic pirate. Yeah, but it won't be easy. His trimmerin is armed to the teeth. By the way, Kitty, I heard that the treasure you're chasing was already taken care of by that bastard. Ah, uh, not so fast. The new barge could use a second machine gun. There's a diver village not far from here, and they trade in restored weapons. We just need to choose the hull's lining, mount the steering wheel and other modules, uh, check the energy consumption, and it's ready to be set afloat. Plastic is the lightest and it has the lowest friction. It's the best choice for those who value speed above all else. For those, I suggest iron, the heaviest and the most durable. There's not much cargo to be held on an iron boat, though. Wood is a compromise. It's lighter than iron, more maneuverable and durable than plastic. We just need to choose the hull's lining, mount the steering wheel and other modules, uh, check the energy consumption, and it's ready to be set afloat. Plastic is the lightest and it has the lowest friction. It for those we just need to choose Plastic is the light for those we just need to Plastic is for we just need to choose the hull's line
We just need to choose the hull's lining, mount the steering wheel and other modules. Uh, check Plastic is for those. We just need to choose. Captain, the hull is damaged. We've got nothing to repair it with. We just need to choose the hull's lining, mount the steering wheel, and... Yes, after the repairs, the boat just feels different. Ear to fight. Surfacers. Oh, it's nice to breathe in some fresh air, you won't believe. Looks like I've surfaced just in time. Look, the canary has kicked the bucket. Poor bird. Well, I haven't been sailing it around in the air. I look for all kinds of goodies on the bottom and sell them to dealers. Family business and all that. My dad and brother work in shallow waters, and I'm a serious depth specialist. Not really. It's dark, stuffy, and you can suffocate there. It's easier to live on the surface after all. Although I see it's not easy for you here. You're sailing around in a barge with only two sailors and a machine gun. Are you looking for a sailor? Today is your lucky day. My little brother has been dreaming about joining a ship crew for quite a while. He's thoroughly sick of tinkering with machinery in shallow waters and is afraid of the submersible. He's claustrophobic. He isn't hard to find. Sail to the Iron Tower that used to produce electricity in ancient times. Our family business is set up on it. You'll find my brother there. Wait! In the depths, I saw that the witch's boil is heading that way. Be careful, or you might lose your vessel. How pleasant it is to breathe some fresh air. The witch's boil. When you see steam all around and the water turns white, stop the boat at once. Otherwise, we'll lose the hull's lining. They say it's the spirit of the dead spoiling ink out of a giant scuttlefish. Maybe it's nonsense, but it's better to stop.
Aye. If you want to buy weapons, sorry. We've sold everything to a wholesaler. We'll have new guns next week. You must be a free captain. Some people have all the luck. Sailing around the world, meeting people, shooting, robbing, living an exciting life. But I'm stuck here, scrubbing rusty junk, day in, day out. Your crew. Seriously. I would, right now, but Dad won't let me. He cares more about the family business and excitement. I am going to rot here. That's impossible. But if it works, I'll jump on your boat in a heartbeat, Captain. What do you want, Drifter? We don't sell trash here. Try the scavengers. We only deal in bulk, no exceptions. Seriously? I'd be happy to let him. He's dreamt of adventures since he was a boy, and he can't stand the work here. I do, but our family has an unbreakable tradition. Any son who leaves the family must build a weapon to take with him with his own hands. You have only one machine gun? Let my son find the parts to craft a good machine gun and install it onto your boat. Ah, oh, I'm so sick of this place. No way. You're joking, right? I'm all yours, Captain. Ready to serve you to the grave. I know where to find the wreckage of a military plane with a gun on it. Keep heading for the marker. Here, look into the water. We'll use the dredge here. Use. Great. Now choose craft. 
Then select the machine gun, press the craft button, and choose me in the crew list. Captain, the machine gun's ready to be mounted on the deck, but first, remove the barrel and mount the generator. The machine gun needs powering. Now we can tear apart that pirate on the trimaran, flying the black flag. The one Jimmy was talking about? Trimoran is ahead. Send it to the bottom. Shoot the engine in the barrels.
one you can't just pick. We're gaining more experience, Captain. We have a spare minute. Select new skills for everyone.
Best. 